In this video, we're going to look at how to draw Bohr model of Atom and write its configuration correctly for these examples. Before we begin, you should know that the first 20 electrons are allocated this way, 2, 8, 8, 2, where shell 1 has 2 electrons, shell 2 has 8, shell 3 has 8, and shell 4 has 2. Let's start with helium atom. Its atomic number is 2. That means it has 2 protons. Since it's an atom, meaning it's neutral, that means it also has two electrons, same number as proton. We'll place the two electrons in shell 1, and the Bohr electron configuration for helium is just two. Next is nitrogen. It has seven electrons. The first two electrons will go to shell 1. The remaining five electrons will go to shell 2. The electron configuration can be written as 2.5. Each of the shell is separated by a period. Next is chlorine with 17 electrons. The first two electrons will go to shell 1, the next 8 electrons will go to shell 2, the final 7 will go to shell 3. 2 plus 8 plus 7, that's 17. The electron configuration for chlorine is 2.8.7. Next is calcium with 20 electrons. The first two electrons will go to shell 1, the next 8 will go to shell 2, the next 8 will go to shell 3, and the final 2 will go to shell 4. The electron configuration for calcium is 2.8.8.2. Now, so far, we've only worked with elements containing up to 20 electrons. What if we have more than 20 electrons? Like, for example, nickel that has 28 electrons. Since it exceeds 20 electrons, we now need to know what's the maximum number of electrons each shell can hold. There's a formula that we can use, which is 2n squared, where n is the shell number. Plugging n into the formula will give us 2, 8, 18 and 32. That means after filling 20 electrons, the next 10 electrons will go back to shell 3. This can be explained using quantum model. I'll link it at the end of this video. Now let's see how we can make this work for nickel. The first two electrons will go to shell 1, the next 8 will go to shell 2, the next 8 will go to shell 3. We're not going to dump all the electrons in shell 3. We're going to go to shell 4 first and fill out the 2 over there. And now that we've used up 20 electrons, the remaining 8 electrons are going to go back to shell 3, making shell 3 to have a total of 16 electrons. The electron configuration for nickel is therefore 28162. What would you like to watch next? Bohr model or quantum model electron configuration? I'll see you over there.